Okay, fine. 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 We'll put glow plugs in this thing. Ooh, geez, nearly took out my phone with a bunch of snow on that eve. We're gonna put some glow plugs in this thing. We're gonna retrofit our 6.9 harness to run a 7.3 IDI solid state controller because these ones use a mechanical controller that seizes up and it's no good. So we're gonna be changing over to 7.3 plugs and a 7.3 DIY solid state controller with harness. So let's get right into it. Welcome to IO Stable Garage. is the 1985 f-250 69 diesel four-wheel drive four speed on the floor with a long bed so first things first let's rip off this air cleaner here okay, so this is a 6.9 idi diesel indirect injection basically meaning these glow plugs right here fire inside a pre-cup where the fuel is squirted in and then that combustion goes down inside the cylinder, big bang. So what separates a 6.9 from a 7.3 IDI? Not talking power strokes at all. This is all international diesel, the first iteration. 6.9 IDIs have a glow plug relay right there. Handles basically all of your glow plug electronics. So that's your main battery feed. As you can see, he's right there. That's your output on this one, going to your plugs. Then you have your signal and your ground. That's basically how that guy works. Well, in this case, you trace that guy all the way back here, and that comes from your glow plug controller, which is hiding right there. That guy controls your glow plugs on and off. And there's a little plunger on there, and it works off of coolant temp. When the coolant temp goes high, it goes up, it pushes up on that spring, basically making it so then that guy's not gonna fire your plugs. As your engine cools down, the pressure on that spring goes down, and then that right there makes it so that your glow plug relay will send power over into your glow plugs. I should have pointed there, that's your plug. And that sounds great. Usually mechanical is way better than solid state, electric, computer controlled stuff, you know? The problem with 6.9 IDIs, that, that glow plug controller right over there is an aluminum piece that goes into a cast iron head. Well, what happens there is when these trucks sit, the aluminum inside the piece seizes to the cast iron around for the sleeve, basically making it so then that controller won't move up and down. It won't function anymore based off of pressure. It's like a solid piece of steel. Well, now it's not gonna fire your plugs on and off. So the common thing that you do on these trucks right here, the 690 guys, is you'll run basically a push button. Beep, beep, beep and you can control the glow plugs on and off all the time. Here's the hiccup with six nines that seven threes there don't right have. Right there is my glow plug. That guy runs a blade style connector, but mostly the amperages is a lot different than the seven three. It can't really handle sustained amperages that the seven three plugs can. They're not For the example, same. Here's a Motorcraft glow plug. We take a look again, let me pull this guy off. That's a blade connector. See the connector difference? That one to that one, brass to brass. They're different there, they'll thread in, but the amperage and everything on this isn't the same as that guy. They're not gonna fire correctly. Those guys tend to burn out really easy on a push button because you can't control how hot they get. That's the job of the mechanical controller or the solid state. It knows when they're getting hot, they this shut off. doesn't here. Another thing that happens is that glow plug controller, the mechanical one on the 6.9 IDI, when it seizes, it usually seizes in the on position, meaning it's just gonna continually feed hot energy, hot power to your 6.9 IDI plugs, essentially just running them cherry red until fuel touches them. And then as soon as fuel touches them, they're basically done, they burn right out. That's why 6.9s usually are a lot harder to start than a 7.3 because their glow plug systems usually completely shot. That glow plug controller fried them a decade ago. And that's one of the main reasons why we never address the glow plugs on this because we need to find the time and the day to swap the entire system out. It wasn't just simply stab some new plugs in and hope for the best. We're basically gonna rewire this, but have no fear. There's complete wire and diagrams on everything on this truck, including the 7.3 IDI glow plug controller. So retrofitting one into a truck 
isn't very hard at all. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to retrofit these glow plugs in. Now we're going to retrofit the glow plug controller. So I already showed you what the 69 IDI glow plug controller looks like. Well, this is what we're going to be changing an outlet. This is a 73 IDI glow plug controller style. It has a solid state underneath, basically like a DuraSpark box for a four ignition system, a glow plug relay at the top, and a steel filament strip. Basically, it, it's not rocket science there, fellas. Your glow plugs attach to this on the other end of the filament strip. Your hot battery goes to this side right here. This is ground. This is your weight to start light inside the truck. The rest of it, you really don't have to play around with. You can add things and take things off, but we're just making a basic harness today to control the truck off the key. That's the goal for today. Let's start retrofitting some things in. So the first step we're gonna do is change out all those little glow plugs to our bullet style connector plug. Let's just get that done right now because I'm curious to know what these plugs look like. All right, so this is the plugs that came out of the engine. A little bit more up close. New plug, old plug. That's the difference, see? A little bit shorter, a little bit different head design, bullet point. But the amperages are slightly different. don't seem too, too bad. Like, that one's okay. This one, I can't really see any marring. That one either. That one either. And they all were anti-seized in, which is very good. Well, the only one that was interesting is this guy right here. As you can see, he, he got, got so hot that his tip literally broke off and likely a long time ago got chewed up by that cylinder. Well, is and there a lot I can do about that? No, no, not really. This is an old, old wound on this glow plug. That piece of steel has already made its way through, likely way before I even bought this truck. So. Those are the glow plugs anyway. We're gonna replace them with new ones. And then with the glow plugs in, then we can start working on We're the harness. We're gonna go ahead and install these suckers. Make sure you put a good amount of anti-seize on them because you want these guys to come out again. And then just, we're just gonna go a little bit more to tighten them up. Perfect, just like so. So I'm gonna do it on all the glow plugs, all eight, and I'll be back once I'm done. So I got all the glow plugs in. You can kind of see them there. They're all in, they're all torqued down fine. Now what you want to do, you want to start changing out your connectors, these connectors right here, in for your bullet style connectors. These guys right here. That's the one I'm going with. That's the Grody part number. You only need one package and it gives you 15, you only need eight. So that's what we're doing with that. I'm just gonna cut all those ends off, change them out with the bullet style. So there you go, all 10 bullet connectors are on. So now what you wanna do, you wanna plug in your glow plugs to your bullet connectors, because now we're gonna be dealing with all the wiring. All right, so now we got the glow plugs in, the bullet connectors in, all that. So now we can start focusing our effort over here on the glow plug relay and retrofitting that guy in. But first we got to make a little bracket. There's no point wiring in anything if we don't know where the controller is going to lie. So I already found a pretty nice spot and it's different than the factory 7.3s. So let me bring you guys in. So from factory, the 7.3 IDI controller goes right here. There's two drilled and tapped holes inside the intake manifold. Six nines don't have that because again, they have this controller right here. He's done, he's broken. So we gotta find a spot that will relatively soak up some engine heat because that's kind of how that metallic strip works. Stays out of the elements a little bit, but is nice and strong. So this is what I thought of. 
we have back here this lifting bracket. This is only used to lift out the engine when you're changing it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this guy off, zing zing, make a little bracket that comes almost up to the firewall and he's going to sit right here. So if I grab the controller, it's going to sit something like that or something like that just off to the side. Out of the way of the intake. That's basically our criteria. Now with our lifting bracket off, we can copy the holes on a piece of steel in there, bend it up to the size of my controller, and then we should be all set. plug controller just kind of goes right on top now just so you guys know the ground on the glow plug controller is grounded to its base plate and then when this gets grounded right to the intake it will ground through this so that takes care of the ground problem all together so the only wires that we have to worry about is our wait to start light wire that's our blue our red right here that's going to be our signal from ignition that's going to be your run position not your start not your accessory, your run position is your red wire. Then you have your battery hot on this post right here. And at the very bottom of the filament strip, that is your glow plug. So let's get to work. All right, so there is our glow plug controller right here. He's not gonna go anywhere. That's a really, really tough, really, really good bracket. I can put a lot of weight on that. It barely flexes. That's how it looks, just kind of sitting around. So now we basically just gotta bring the connections over onto that guy from there to there. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll walk you through the process. What I'm anyway. gonna do right here is remove my glow plugs completely from the relay, take these guys off. So then I don't have to rewire anything on my engine. All that I'm gonna do is simply cut these glow plugs wires off right here. There we go, there we go. Sheave them back. on both sides. There we go. What I'm gonna be doing here is simply adding an extension piece, like so. And that's gonna be what goes over to my glow plug controller. got the glow plugs basically wired in the plugs themselves to our controller now we just got to add battery hot over and all what I'm gonna do I'm gonna jump off this connection right here on my old glow plug controller we're just gonna leave him there he's not hurting anything and we're just gonna run a power wire over to our feet. so I spared you guys the time because it was just making another cable opt for a thick cable because this is going pretty far and it's feeding two very thick cables. So you wanna go double the size of the two, that's what I went with. Just an old jumper cable, works fine. Anyway, that's going over to the main power feed on my glow plug relay. Now we only have two more wires to put onto this thing. That right there is a key on run signal. And then we have our wait to start light just hanging out right here. so now I basically that's that little brown wire there that's my signal I just tied into my fuel pump that I had that's basically just low voltage it's only low voltage that feeds that little bit of signal so it won't hurt to piggyback off that guy plus they're both on with the key so it works out fine so the only one that we have now is that blue wait to start the nice thing is you can use the original wait to start light from the 69 IDI with the 7.3 controller, and it's definitely not rocket science. Let me bring you guys in. I'll show you guys exactly what you have so, to do. Glow plug controller, again, I've said it a lot of times, 
This blue wire right here is my wait to start light. There's gonna be output power coming from this and that has to go to your light inside the dash. That light right here, being where it says glow plug, there's a little light right behind there. That's your wait to start in light. In order on. to wire in that wait to start light, it's not rocket science. It's very, very easy. Let's go over to the old glow plug controller and I'll show you guys what's so going on. So on the original glow plug controller, that is your output post that went to your glow plugs. This terminal right here, this is a blue wire, right? But it goes into a fusible link right here and that goes to a black and pink wire. This black and pink wire runs all the way into your dash to your wait to start light. And I'm gonna show you guys right now how easy it is. If your wait to start light ever goes out too, by the way, check your fusible link. They put these here because of the amperage that can run through this because it shared the same terminal. So they threw one of these in, sometimes those go bad. But all that I got right here to test it, we're gonna connect a jumper lead right to this ring terminal. And then we're gonna take the other side of the jumper lead and we're gonna connect it straight to positive. Now, if we go on the dash, our wait to start light is now on. See that? Check so, that out. So all we have to do is bridge this connection right here over to that connection. So let me make up a quick wire. And we'll be All right, right. so the glow plug controller is completely wired up. So in summary, let's go over exactly what we did. First, we changed the glow plugs, running 7-3 style, bullets, pin style glow plugs. Then we took off our blade style connectors, put 7-3 bullet style connectors on them. That's done on that harness side. Then we made a bracket at the back to hold our glow plug controller, the 7-3 solid state controller. Easy peasy. Next, we came over to our main plug harness here and our glow plug controller. Our glow plugs used to go in to this post right here on our solenoid. We cut, extended those, brought those way at the back over here on our dielectric metallic strip on our glow plug controller. These now feed our glow plugs. Done. Easy peasy. Next, we needed power to feed said glow plug controller straight from battery. So we have a battery feed right here. Follow that guy over here. Comes right to our positive post on our battery. That's done. Next, we needed a signal source for our solid state drive to actually work on our solenoid. So we used our signal from our fuel pump just piggybacking off of that. It's right here. You can use any key on power as long as it's the run position. That's what you want, run position. Bang, there it is. Last but not least, we took our blue wire here, which is our wait to start light on this solid state drive. And we took, where is it here? Hold on, there it is. We took our black and pink wire, and that's before the fusible link. It's blue after the fusible link. We took that wire, it was on this glow plug relay right here, or glow plug solenoid. We cut him off and made a line right to there. So that should be all done. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna basically wire loom all of these harnesses up, kind of cover up the positive posts on that, put my air cleaner back, and I'll see you guys when that's all done, because then we're gonna do a nice cold start on it. And believe me, it's cold start. We got a test on it, but first I gotta prove to you, this engine's pretty much stone cold. It drove here maybe seven hours ago, but in this Canadian North, where you can see your breath, it's already pretty cold. I don't have a thermometer with me, but I'm gonna run my hand through a couple things, rad fluid, that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna show you just how cold it is. All right, first, Obvious, there's the exhaust. Holding it, no problems whatsoever. Second, radiator cap, no pressure. Stick my finger in it, woo, oh geez, that's cold. Yep, that's cold. So, both of those are good. How about the block heater? How about the lower rad pipe heater? Are those warm? Well, here's my lower rad pipe heater. I can grab hold of him all the live long day. Solid steel, that thing gets piping hot. Another reason it's uh, cold out, got ice all over the windows, all fogged up, all iced up. 
hasn't ran a little bit guys so let's try the cold start. now you guys have seen enough of my cold starts to know what an ether cold start looks like so let's see what a glow plug cold start works like guys we now have the cold start king and it doesn't even need ether assist just goes to show you there's a lot of people saying that once you start using ether the engine's gonna be addicted to it that is not any further from the truth than it can be i hope you guys learned something i hope that it helped someone in the same predicament with an old 69 system and they wanted to convert it over to a 73 or i just hope you guys enjoyed watching I'll catch you guys in the next one really, really soon on this truck. All right, see ya.